And right on the heels of the R9 380X, we've got the P106-100. Hopped right in, no trouble, started mining. We are doing 20.98 mega hash a second on ETC. And there is actually, I think it was with Phoenix Miner back in the day, there's an injection for a little bit better hash rate. So these should do more, but I'm gonna go quickly and throw a quick OC in here for ETC and let's see. Okay, so with the memory at 600 and Windows or 1200 and Hive OS, I did get down to 23.61 mega hash, but it was at 73 watts. Now I'm pulling it down to 70. It looks like we took a huge haircut. So yeah, 75 power limit, 73 watts is definitely where you want to be. Starts falling off sharply in hash rate. So I'm going to up it back up, and then we'll swap over to Ergo. Yeah, Ergo is going to be a bit of a pass. Still 75 watts, same everything else, but uh, 38 mega hash. That's not really any better than you would get on like an RX 470. So definitely go that way for this algorithm. Not a P106 for Ergo. Let's try Ravencoin. All right, so we're doing 7.371 mega hash on Kapow at 75 watts. I am gonna up this to 110, I guess. So I'm not leaving it on the screen right here because it is kind of flickery. But let's see what we get with 110 watts on Kapow. Nope, these uh, these suck at Ravencoin. 9.13 mega hash at 110, or 7 point something at 75. So definitely 7 point something at 75. Which I mean, it's it's really bad by today's standards. But honestly, by like 10 series standards which this is, that's really not too bad. And for the era in which this was put out, that's honestly just fine. Um, all right, next up, let's try Flux. Um, the speed's coming up, I don't know. I'll give it another second, but it's only drawing 75 watts right now on Flux. This might not actually suck on Flux. Yeah, I'm gonna call it 18, it was up to 18.4 souls average at 75 watts, so. We're gonna call it 18.5 at 75 for Flux. All right, she's doing 214 on Caspa, but 110 watts, which is too much. So I'm gonna cut it back to 75. We'll see what the core is like. Okay, and we've got 203.5 at 75, actually 208. So definitely much, much better at 75. I know the cores fall off like crazy on these cards below 70 or 75, so I'm not even gonna try 60 even though they technically support it. So there you go, Caspa 208 mega hash at 75 watts. Right now, pretty bad, but you know, in the future, a year or two down the road, if profitability starts shooting up again on all these coins, at least you know that you can plug in your old P106-100 and those are your hash rates and your power consumptions. So again, this was just done for fun. Not an efficient GPU, not suggesting you go buy one of these, especially because it's not good for gaming like the R9 is, um, these older games. So anyway, just for fun. But yeah, the P106, again, Nerd Gears, not affiliated with these guys, but I'll leave some links if I remember it just to their actual store page. Go check it out and see what they got. Maybe there's some old GPU or even some newer stuff um, that fits your bill. I've been eyeing up. They've got like 5700 XT pulse cards for 159 bucks. And again, like no tax and no shipping. That's actually what you pay. So it's like 20 or 30 bucks cheaper on, you know, than an eBay price or whatever. So anyway, I digress. Neither here nor there. Thanks for watching. This has been the Galax P106 100.